No, no, no. Es la 1. Bueno, hello. Pues comenzamos. Hello, hola, hello, hola. hello, hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today, people? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Good evening. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so Good much. Evening, Welcome. Teacher. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Hello, everyone. How was your weekend? Nice weekend? Nice. Nice weekend. Oh. Nice weekend. All right. Nice. Perfect weekend, teacher. Are you ready for the for the practice today? Yes. yes. Ready. Yes. With energy. Go. Oh, in English. Thank you so much. All right. Welcome everyone for today's video conference. I appreciate go, go. your punctuality to be here in the video conference. I am going to check on the attendance. So please, when you listen to your name, remember to make a verbal confirmation that you're here, you say present, and I check on this info. Let me look at my document. So we can get started on the on this information. Give me a second. All right, here it is. Let's start here, Monday 24th. Okay, perfect. I start with the attendance. Alejandra Gabriela Perez. Present. Here. Ana Guadalupe Fuentes. Present. Thank you. Azucena Enriquez de Lopez. Present. Thank you. Brian Joal Morrodas. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carolina Abigail Vasquez. Present. Thank you. Cindy Tatiana Vasquez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Cira Berfalia Aguilar. Present. Thank you. Present. Perfect. Claudia Elizabeth Martinez. Claudia Elizabeth Martinez. Okay. Erika Vanessa Marroquín. Present. Thank you. Present. Esmeral, Esmeralda Janet Mendez. Present teacher. Thank you. Evelyn Abigail Ramos. Present. Thank you. Fátima del Carmen Amaya. Present. Thank you. Giselle Marie Hernandez. Present. Thank you. Indira Nirvana Hernandez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ana Ivania Guevara. Present. Thank you. Jose Hernan Maravilla. Jose Hernan Maravilla. Not at this moment. Josue Abraham López. Josue Abraham López. Okay. Carla Guadalupe Pacheco. Present. Thank you. Carla Lisset Méndez. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Daniel Rosa. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Madeline Beatriz Morán. Present. Thank you. María María José Sandoval. María José Sandoval. Not present. Mariana Dolores Moreno. Present. Thank you. Uh, Marlon Napoleón Fuentes. Present. Thank you. Rina Estela García. Present. Thank you. Rolando Guzmán Revelo. Present. Thank you. Ruth Stephanie Meléndez. Present. Thank you. Sandra Marisol Campos. Present. Thank you. Tito Alberto Hernández. Present, teacher. Thank you. And Xiomara Alejandra Marroquín. Present. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. 
I appreciate on your confirmation for today's video conference. Let me get ready with my information so we can get started on this. Okay, perfect, perfect. Before we get into the information for the class, I want to congratulate the majority of you because you really worked in the platform. Quisiera felicitar en su gran mayoría. Ya hemos progresado en la plataforma y eso es bueno. Eh, gracias por atender el llamado del progreso estimado que se debería tener. Eh, algunas personas, como dos o tres, si no mal recuerdo, todavía no han iniciado la plataforma. Así que animarles, ¿verdad? si están acá, porque en este momento no recuerdo sus nombres. Si usted no ha comenzado la plataforma, eh, recuérdese que es un requisito que debemos completarla y llevamos cierto ritmo. Usted puede eh, hacer la plataforma y completarla incluso antes de terminar el curso con la fecha que nosotros tenemos. Si no mal recuerdo, creo que Miss Ruth Stephanie ya terminó la plataforma. Creo que ahora chequeé. No sé si, si estoy equivocado. ¿Ah, Miss Ruth? Ya casi termino, pero tengo ya duda casi. en dos ejercicios okay. que son de escuchar y que suena como, ¿qué es lo que está haciendo María? Dice, right. Se oye como que se está manejando, está cocinando, uh -huh. está tipeando, Perfect. pero yo le coloco algo y uh -huh. no me da. Okay. Así que no sé cuál es la respuesta. If y el otro have... de, los, uh -huh. de las vestimentas también, right. que pregunta qué traje anda, yo lo veo que es verde claro. Light green, <laughs> Light green. Que sí, y no. no me sale. All right, no problem. Share that information in the WhatsApp group. Si gusta, comparta la información en WhatsApp y cuando me sea posible, ¿verdad? Lo más pronto posible le doy asistencia, ¿verdad? Así que podemos ahí compartir y todos ayudarnos mutuamente. Pero nada más quería eh, poner el ejemplo, ¿verdad? Que por lo menos Miss Ruth creo que solo el examen final le hace falta. Ya trabajó todas las tareas, el examen de medio curso. Y ya solo le hace falta el examen final. Eso lo pueden hacer. Así que si usted tiene la chance, usted puede hacerlo también. Y así nos quedamos ya solo con las videoconferencias. Y después recuérdese que puede ir mejorando su puntaje. Tal vez en, el primer, en la primera vez no lo sacó al 100. Después de la clase o después de mucha práctica, usted puede otra vez optar por hacerlo. Tiene intentos ilimitados, así que de ese gusto trabajando en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Eso es para que usted de verdad tengamos un, para que tengamos un aprendizaje significativo. All right. So, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the ones working. Muchas gracias a todos por trabajar en, su, en la plataforma. Y les animo siempre, echémosle ganas. Eso nos va a ayudar a alcanzar nuestra meta de un segundo idioma. All right. Let me check on this one so I can share the info for you. All right, uh, Mr. Brian, I don't know if you have a question. Brian, you have one? Sí, tenía una, una pregunta, teacher. Tell este, me. A mí me ha pasado con la eh, plataforma, ¿verdad? De que eh, a veces sí me he equivocado, ¿verdad? Estoy resolviendo, mm -hmm. me equivoco, pero yo escuché como que tenía un puntaje. Mm -hmm. Trabajar en la plataforma, no sé si al equivocarse uno, pues eso resta, me imagino, ¿verdad? En lo absoluto. En ese caso, eh, buena pregunta y tal vez pueda ser una duda que los demás tengamos. El equivocarse en la plataforma no va a restar su puntuación. ¿Verdad? ¿Por qué? Porque se espera que nosotros aprendamos. Y recuérdese que el aprender un idioma no nos va a salir y sería, qué bien, ¿verdad? Hay casos excepcionales. Pero a mí me pasaba que yo a la primera ni le pegaba ninguna respuesta. Hasta de vez en cuando, ya, a vez adivinándole que había una, ya después ya comprendía. Pero el repetir las evaluaciones o repetir cualquier práctica no tiene repercusión en una nota final. ¿verdad? Así que por eso se les anima a hacer muchos intentos, porque la plataforma, si usted bueno. quiere, se saca 100% en todo. Pero depende de usted y depende oh. del tiempo que le dedique. ¿Mm? Ok, teacher. Thank you. Perfecto. Así que animarles a todos, echarle ganas, que se puede. Como dice, ahí está el 100%, solo que usted le ponga ganas. Right? Perfect. 
Uh, question, are you able to see my presentation at this moment? Can you see it? Pueden lograr ver la, la diapositiva que estoy presentando? Yes? Yes. Yes. No. Yes. 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 Thank you. Yes. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We have session number five and the information, where are you from? Right? That is the information we cover for today's session. For today, we are going to check on information about negative statements, that is negative sentences, right? When you talk about, uh, when you talk about statements, think about sentence, right? Negative sentences and also just and no questions. That is the information for today's class. Take a look at this information, right? I have an affirmative sentence, an affirmative statement, and I need your collaboration to create on the negative one. For example, I am from San Salvador. What should be the negative sentence? I'm not. Oh, Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. In the negative, you say, I am not from San Salvador, right? Pay attention to the position of the sentences and the sentence elements. Thank you. What about on the next one? Take a look on this one. You are happy. What should be the negative sentence? You are not happy. Right? You are, you are not, 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 happy. not happy. You are not happy. You are not happy. That is not the reality, right? At this moment. Esa no es la realidad de nosotros, ¿verdad? No, no, estamos, no estamos diciendo eso. ¿verdad? We are happy at this moment. Thank you. Check on the next one. Yes. You are not happy. Oh, come on. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Check on the next one. He is my friend. What should be the negative of this? He is not, not my, my friend. friend. My friend. Thank you. He is not my friend. Check on the next one. She is my sister. She is not my sister. She is not my sister. She is not my sister. All right. Thank you. She is not my sister. You are perfect. Check on the next one. It is it English. Is English. What should be the negative? It, it is not, not, not English. English. Thank you. It is not English. It is not English. Perfect, perfect. It is not English. Check on the next one. We are tired. What is the negative? We are, we are not, not tired. Not tired. Yeah. Excellent. Do you know the meaning of tired? No. Yes. That's correct, right? With no energy, no good emotions, and probably you want to sleep, right? You need to sleep. You are tired, right? But at this moment, we are not tired, right? No. We are not tired. We are not tired. We are not tired. We are not tired. Excellent. Thank you so not much. Tired. Right? We're going to check on the questions. Thank you so much. We are not tired. Uh, check on the last one. They are hungry. What is the negative sentence for that? They are, they are, are not hungry. hungry. They are not happy. They are not hungry. They are not hungry. They are not hungry, hungry. They are not hungry. Are not hungry right? Not hungry. No necessity for food. They are not hungry. Right? No food, right? Not necessary. Yeah. Are you hungry at this moment? No. 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 No, no. Yes. no I'm hungry. I am not hungry. Ah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Because probably you already finished with the dinner. No problem. At this moment, working with the digestion, right? Siendo ya la digestión y aprendiendo el inglés al mismo tiempo. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. As you can see, this is the way that we can create negative statements in the simple present. Check on the position, right? That's why I included the word not in green. That is for you to see it, right? I am not, you are not, he is not, she is not, it is not, we are not. 
and they are not, right? I will choose some random people to participate on this one. We are going to report a negative sentence about ourselves. For example, for me, I create an example. I am not from La Unión, right? That is a negative sentence about me. I am not from, the, from La Unión. Other possibility, talking about a negative, a negative job or profession, something that is not for me. Right? Tal vez podemos reportar un trabajo u, o una ocupación que yo, de la cual yo no soy, ¿verdad? O, o no tengo. Por ejemplo, I am not a soccer player. Not for me. I am not a soccer player. I the am other not teacher English. Ah, right, an, an English teacher. It <laughs> could English be possible. <laughs> it could be possible, right? Other possibility to talk about a description, an adjective. For example, I am not, let's see, I am not serious, right? I am not serious, right? Talking about a description. Podemos incluir como un complemento un adjetivo, ¿verdad? Yo no soy serio, right? O sí. So, so. So, so. Maybe. De vez en cuando. Maybe, thank you. That's a good <laughs> word. Maybe. A veces. Cuando el alumno no trabaja, a veces, a veces, a veces me, me, me siento algo así, algo un poco serio. But that's the only exception. All right? Thank you. In this case, or also, Teacher. we can... Yes, tell me. How do you spell maybe? Maybe. Maybe. M. Maybe. M. A. Y. B. E. One more time. Listen. M. A. Y. B. E. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much on this one. And the last possibility to talk about a negative sentence with the verb to be is to talk about the age. For example, I am not 20 years old. ¿verdad? Dando información personal. Recordamos que el verbo to be nos sirve bastante para hablar de información personal. Or also, my favorite food is not fish. Algo en negativo, de algo que no es, no es mi comida favorita. Mi comida favorita no es el pescado. Así que si pensaban mandarme mi pescadito, Sorry, people, not, not, not like that. I accept pizza, right? They accept pizza, no problem. Or chicken, but no fish, right? Thank you so much. At this moment, I select on five people to create a negative sentence about you, right? About yourself. Voy a escoger a cinco personas para que participen y creen una oración negativa acerca de ustedes, siguiendo el modelo que yo, eh, yo les mencionaba hace unos instantes. The first person to participate is Marlon Napoleon. Tell me a negative sentence uh, about yourself. Right? I am not mechanic. I am not a mechanic. All right. Thank you so much. Sandra Marisol Campos, a sentence for you, please. I am not, I am not for wrong, uh, Usulutan. I am not from Usulutan. Thank you. That's a good sentence. Thank you so much. I check on the next one. Fatima del Carmen. Tell me a sentence in the negative with the verb to be. I am not from San Salvador. I am not from San Salvador. Thank you. I check on the next person. And that should be, let me see on this person. All right. Josué Abraham López, tell me a sentence using the negative form of the verb to be. I'm not from a doctor. I am not a doctor, all right? I am not a doctor, thank you. And finally, I am going to choose Miss Mariana Dolores. A sentence in the negative with the verb to be. I am not tall. I am not? Tall. Tall. All right. I am not tall. Right. No es alta. All right. Yes. All right. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the information and good use of the structure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, let's double check on this information. Apart from the negative statements, 
today we check on yes and no questions. Remember, these questions are to make a confirmation about something. Probably we have an idea about something and we need some confirmation. Take a look at this one, right? For example, if I ask, hey, Rolando Guzman, are you from San Salvador? I am not. All right, I am not, right? And I am asking for confirmation. I have an idea. Yo tenía una idea de dónde tal vez Mr. Rolando era y por eso yo le pregunté, ¿es usted de San Salvador? Porque tal vez yo tenía cierto conocimiento o tenía la percepción de que él era de ahí, ¿verdad? Y por eso utilizo una yes no question. Different from a WH, right? Diferente de las preguntas que se inician con WH, que en ese caso son preguntas de información. Diferente si yo le digo, Rolando, where are you from? ¿verdad? ¿De dónde es? Ahí no le pongo una limitante como condicionando de dónde, si es de tal lugar, sino que en general. Rolando, where are you from? I am from Antiguo Cuscatlán. I am from Antiguo Cuscatlán. You see, in that case, I obtain, in, obtain information in general. Double checking on this one. And I know the person is going to answer yes, right? Tito Hernández. Are you from Ponchagua? Yes, I am from Ponchagua. All right, perfect. I remember, you see, I have some information and, and I want to confirm, ¿verdad? Yo tenía cierta información o cierta noción de algo y por eso también utilizo una yes, no question para confirmar, o sea, salir de mi duda. Pues me dicen sí o me dicen no, All right? That is the use of yes and no questions. Take a look at this one. We are going to transform the questions based on the conversation. For example, I am from San Salvador is an affirmative sentence, but if, you, if we want to create a question, we can convert it like this. En este contexto que les voy a mostrar, eh, partimos de la idea que es una conversación la que estamos teniendo, ¿verdad? Una persona pregunta, y la otra persona responde. Por eso es que hubo cierto cambio en el sujeto. Right? In this case, imagine the question, are you from San Salvador? Así como yo les pregunté a sus compañeros, are you from San Salvador? The possible answer, yes, la incluimos el sí, yes, I am from San Salvador, si fuera una afirmación. Yes, I am from San Salvador. For example, let's see, Madeline Beatriz, are you from San Salvador? No, I am not from San Salvador. I am from, from Santa Ana. From Santa Ana. Perfect. Nice. Nice. Thank you. Excellent. Uh, let's see. I need to find a person. Esmeralda Janet, are you from San Salvador? I am not from San Salvador. I am a uh, Tarnica La Libertad. All I am right. from Tarnica La Libertad. All right. Perfect. Thank you so much. Ana Guadalupe Fuentes, are you from San Salvador? I am not from San Salvador. I am from Mexicanos. Mexicanos, thank you. I will switch, I will switch when I have bad luck with San Salvador. Ya vi que tengo mala suerte con San Salvador. A ni uno le adiviné. Uh, let me see, let me check on other, let's see one person. Carla Guadalupe Pacheco, are you from, are you from San Miguel? Not, I am from San Salvador. My goodness, my goodness, you see? Ahora que yo me digné a cambiar, la respuesta era yes, thank you, thank you so much. But perfect, perfect, thank you. You see? And in this case, I am asking for confirmation. And in the context of question, we make a switch. There are some exceptions. Como les mostraba ahí en pantalla, hay algunas excepciones en el cual puede cambiar, pero cambia porque se, uno se imagina que de verdad está realizando una conversación, así como yo les preguntaba a ustedes y me respondía, ¿verdad? En este caso, Carla, answer, yes, I am from San Salvador. Por eso es que vemos el cambio en sujeto y el verbo to be. Check on the next one. It is possible to make a change on this one. As you can see, It's like, I ask a question about me and you give me the answer. For example, 
am I, right? Am I a teacher? What do you think? Am I a teacher? ¿Será que yo yes, soy un you maestro? Are. Yes, yes, you, you are. are. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. You see, yeah. in this context, we change on the elements, subject and verb, for that reason. ¿eh? Por esa razón, ha cambiado el verbo y el sujeto. Vamos a ver que en unos no existe ningún cambio, sino que los elementos solo se hace una inversión. Right? Just an inversion. And that is the case of the next question. He is Peter. The, the just no question. Is he Peter? Just changing on the order of the elements. And yes, no questions are formed in such way. Right? To create yes, no questions, we only change the position. Right? Verb to be, subject. Affirmative sentences, subject, verb to be. Simple like that. Right? Simple, simple, simple. Only a change. Solo existe un cambio para las preguntas de sí o no. ¿la? Con el verbo to be. Just the position. Solo basta con cambiar el orden del sujeto con el verbo. En preguntas, verbo sujeto. Simple, like that, right? Piece of cake, right? Facilito, sí o no? Yes or no? Yes, yes. yes. Excellent, thank you. Yes. Thank you so yes. much. I need the help of Erika Vanessa for the next one. En la siguiente no existe cambio como en la, en la excepción uno y dos. Miss, the sentence, she is a student. I need your help, please, Miss Erika Vanessa, to create the yes, no question. Uh, maybe, is she a student? Thank you, that's correct. There is just an inversion. Is she a student? Thank you, thank you so much. I continue with the next sentence. The affirmative, it is English. Luis Daniel, tell me, what is the question? Remember, only inversion, only inversion. What is the question? Um, is it English? Thank you, perfect, mister, that's fine. Is it English? Thank you. Just a, a tip on pronunciation. Solo un tip en general para todos, ¿verdad? Luis lo hizo muy bien. When you check on this one, you mention is it. Is it. We, you don't make a pause. You don't make a pause. Is it? No. Is it. Ahora, hacemos una unión de sonido en las dos palabras, ¿verdad? En lugar de hacer una pausa, si no diríamos is it. Right. Is it? We make a combination. Is it? Is it? De una sola vez hacemos, alargamos el sonido, lo unimos y en ese caso estamos diciendo las dos palabras. Is it? Is it English? Right? Yes, it is. No, it is not. Right? In, the, in that case, we can ask uh, the question in a really natural way. Right? Eso es lo que eh, generalmente escuchamos de la gente nativa. Is it English? Right? Check on the okay, left. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Check on the next one. In this case, it is similar to a conversation. Imagine that I ask you the question. Eh? Imaginémonos que siempre estamos en una conversación y que yo le hago la pregunta a todos ustedes. ¿Verdad? Y la respuesta sería, yes, we are tired. What should be the question? Ahí existe un cambio de sujeto. Who can help me? ¿Quién me puede ayudar? ¿Cómo formularíamos la pregunta? Are we tired? Are we tired? Are Thank we you. Tired? Thank you. We have I to be tired. Thank Are you. We tired? Are we tired? Thank you. In this, we have two possible answers, two possible questions. If I want to be part right, of the question, we can say, Are we tired? Right? Como una pregunta que incluso hasta yo me estoy como cuestionando, ¿verdad? ¿Estamos cansados? Are we tired? Y yo soy parte de la pregunta, ¿verdad? Yes, we are or no, we are. It. Or the other one, if that is a conversation, right? Si fuera una conversación también, que una persona, en este caso mi persona, se dirige a todos ustedes, I can create a question. 
are you tired? Right? Are you tired? And that could be a other possibility about the question. Recordando que el you también tiene su forma plural, ¿verdad? Usted, you, one person, and you, a group of people. También el you, recordamos que nos sirve como plural para referirnos a ustedes, un grupo de personas, ¿verdad? Yo me dirijo a todos ustedes y les podría hacer la pregunta en general. Are you tired? And the answer? No, I'm not tired. Right? We're right. not tired. We are no. not. No. We, are not, we are, not are not tired. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. The answer could be like a uh, like uh, collaborative, right? And collective. La respuesta podría ser colectiva porque se incluyen ustedes, pero como que responden por el grupo. No, no estamos cansados, right? No, we are not tired, right? No vayan a creer que es la canción, para que le digo, ¿están cansados? No. ¿Están no, cansados? Uh, no. No. Ah, it's not, ah, it's it, you know it, right? Bien se la saben, va, bien se, se la saben. Ah, ya ya ven, ya ya ven. Ya ah, no, 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 come on, not dancing, not dancing. <laughs> Thank you. In this case, that is the question, right? Are you tired? No, we are not, ¿verdad? Sería como la respuesta. Dado, da, dado el contexto que estamos, que podríamos estar en una conversación. Pero la otra versión, are we tired, is possible, right? Si usted se incluye, es como que usted mismo se cuestiona y estamos cansados, right? No, we are not. Check on the last one. The last one, there is no change. En el último no hay ningún cambio. Eh, en cambio de sujeto, ¿verdad? En posición, sí, porque es una yes, no question. What should be the version for the question in this one? Are they hungry? Are they hungry? Thank you. I appreciate your answers and, and your participation. Are they hungry? Right? Are they hungry? Como si están hambrientos ellos, right? In this case, and then yes, we answer. They are. Yes, they are. <laughs> and the question, are you hungry? Están hambrientos ustedes? No? No, no, right? No, no problem. No, I'm hungry. <laughs> yes, I am hungry. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I'm good, right? I'm hungry. <laughs> Probably later you can eat something small, right? Tal vez más tarde, pues, eh, comerse para algo, algo poquito, algo chiquito, right? Something small, right? Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. At this moment, is there any question about the information we are talking about? Questions, questions? No questions. No questions. No Thank question. you, Tito, for your confirmation. What about the rest? No questions? Yes, no? No question. No question, No question. No question. No. Piece of cake, this one, right? We continue. Piece of cake, easy. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. That's fine. Remember, if you have questions, let me know. Si tiene preguntas, Usted siempre dirá, hey, teacher, yo tengo una pregunta, ¿verdad? No se sienta cohibido, ¿verdad? Que, que, que si yo no quiero preguntar, ¿verdad? porque ya como cinco dijeron que no tienen pregunta y yo voy a salir con que yo, teacher, yo así tengo pregunta. No, no, sé si, no, no sería el caso. ¿verdad? Si usted tiene dudas, dígame, hey, teacher, I have a question, right? And I can help. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for this one. Now, we're going to have a speaking practice. Remember, that's the intention for these sessions to have speaking practice. At this moment, we are going to consider on the three models that I have on the screen. In this one, we are going to complete the first model with a place similar to the practice that we did. For example, and I am going to practice with some people, uh, Rina Estela, are you from Metapan? No, I am not from the, I am not the Japan. All right, where are you from? I am from? I am from Sonsonate. From Sonsonate, all right, thank you so much. We are going to create just no questions. In the first model, you are going to change only or you are, you are going to include only a place, right? You include only a place for the information. Let me see. Can you listen to me, people? 
are you for? Hello, hello, can you listen to me? Yes, yes. All right. Yes, perfect. teacher. Okay, yes. perfect, yes. yes. All right. Yes. Sorry, 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 sorry. I have a technical issue at this moment, thank you. Let me see, I guess, let me change on this one. I don't know what happened. All right, coming back to this one, thank you. In the first one, we are only going to include a place, right? Are you from? To ask for confirmation. On the second one, are you? And in this format, we are going to include an adjective, a description. For example, imagine that I ask, let's see, Cindy Tatiana Vasquez. Miss Cindy, are you friendly? ¿Es usted amigable? Yes, I am. No, I am not. Are you friendly? Yes, I am friendly. Excellent. Thank you. Yes, I am friendly. You see, I'm asking about a description. Evelyn Abigail Ramos, tell me, are you shy? ¿Es usted una persona penosa? Are you shy? Yes, I am shy. Yes, I am. All right, thank you. You see, I'm talking about the description. It is possible for description about personality or also physical appearance. Indira, are you tall? ¿Es usted alta, Indira? Are you tall? No, I am not. I am right. short. I am short, all right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. In this case, we can have the format with an adjective, a description, physical or talking about personality. And the last format is to talk about a job or an occupation. And let me ask the question to some of you. Sira Berfale Aguilar, tell me, miss, are you a manager? ¿Es usted gerente? Are you a manager? I am not. All right, no, I am not. I am not a manager. I am not a manager. I am not a manager. Thank you. Xiomara Alejandra, tell me, are you a secretary? No, I'm not. All right, thank you. Azucena Enriquez, are you a nurse? ¿Es usted una enfermera? Are you a nurse? No, I am not a nurse. All right, no, I am not. Right, no, I am not. Let's see, Ruth Stephanie, are you a teacher? No, I'm not a teacher. No, I am not. All right, thank you. Let's see, let me ask other person that, let me see, I'm trying to think about the people. Ah, Carolina Abigail Vasquez, tell me, Carolina, are you a student? Yes, I am a student. Thank you. Yes, I am a student. As you can see, in this form, we can use the three model questions to ask for confirmation about information, all right? We are going to use these three models. Are you from, you include a place. Are you, and you include an adjective. Are you a or an, and you include a job or an occupation. Are you a student? Are you a soccer player? Are you a dentist? Are you a driver? We have a lot of options for this. We're going to be working in a small breakup rooms to ask on some information. Before we move to the practice, is there any question about what we do at this moment? No question. All no right, question. thank you. All right. No question. Okay, thank you so much. No question. Thank you. I appreciate on that one. I appreciate your confirmation. We are going to work in, in groups of three. So you alternate on asking questions. One person asks a question, the other person answers, and we work like a chain. Vamos a trabajar en grupos de tres, pero vamos a ir alternando quién pregunta, ¿verdad? Para que no solo sea una persona preguntando a los demás, y, sino que vamos a ir a tratar de interactuar lo más posible. Quiere decir que si yo hago una pregunta a alguien, esa persona me responde, 
Y ahora a quien yo le pregunté es el responsable de formular la nueva pregunta a alguien más para trabajar como que es en cadenita, ¿verdad? Pregunto, respondo, respondo, pregunto. Porque si no, solo yo haciendo preguntas, solo yo haciendo preguntas y nadie me va a preguntar a mí, ¿verdad? La idea es que interactuemos, right? Questions, answers, okay. questions, answers. That is the way we're going to work. Remember, yes, no questions. Nos vamos a, a quedar con las yes, no questions con el verbo to be. A este momento no estamos hablando de acciones. Si ven los complementos, lugar, un adjetivo, una descripción o una ocupación. ¿verdad? Nos vamos a quedar con esa info. Right? Si usted puede crear otra información, perfecto. Utilizando el verbo to be, that's fine. But no actions. Recordando que las acciones, como por ejemplo, play, eat, work, those actions don't go together with the verb to be. ¿verdad? Esas acciones todavía no entran en juego con el verbo to be. They are not friends. They, they, don't, they don't like to talk to each other. No, no, no se llevan ellas dos, right? So at this moment, we work in breakout rooms. Let me create um, this info. All right, perfect. Remember to participate as much as possible and I will monitor on you. So please, let's do our best. ¿verdad? Así como lo hemos hecho en ocasiones anteriores, Tratemos de participar lo más posible y de repente yo les llego a escuchar para ver cómo estamos formulando preguntas, respuestas, and I can help you if possible. Right? Let's get started at this moment. I am from eh, La Libertad. Ahora usted pregunta el compañero. Ah, ok. Eh, ¿Cómo se llama el otro compañero? Perdón. Are you... Are you from... Josué. Uh, can you repeat a, the question? A please? place. Uh -huh. Repeat the question. In this case, remember to include a, a place. En ese, en ese formato de pregunta, utilizamos un lugar. ¿verdad? Utilizamos el modelo. Are you from? Y ahí usted incluye un lugar. Are you from Sonsonate? Are you from Aguachapán? Are you from San Salvador? Para confirmar si la persona es del lugar que usted le menciona. Right? Can you create a question one more time? Okay, okay. Are you from uh, Santa Ana, Josué? Mm -hmm. No, I'm not. All right, thank you. Thank you. Okay. And, if, and if possible, you can create or give more details if possible, Josué. Si gusta usted, okay. aparte de, de confirmarle ella, puede dar información relevante de donde es usted. I am from... I'm from La Libertad. All right, thank you. Thank you so much. Now, Josué, ask a question to Cindy. Okay. Um, are you from Sonsonate, Cindy? Mm -hmm. Yes, I am from Sonsonate. Excellent. Oh. Wow, you see, good guess. I got you know it. Me? Excellent, you got it. Perfect. Thank you, thank you. Continue asking for information in that way. Thank you, asking and answering. Good job, people. Thank you. Are you not Colocha. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, digamos que no. 
no, I am no. not curly. I am not curly. curly. I am I am not not curly. curly. <laughs> okay. Y la última, the, the last, the um, profession. No te pasó. Are you a doctor? Are you a doctor? No, I am not a doctor. I am not, I am not a doctor. Okay. Um, are you a cook? Are you a cook? Like a chef. Chef. Are you a cook? It's possible. Cook is possible, right? Un cook es un sinónimo de, de que si es como eh, alguien que trabaja de chef, ¿verdad? Un cocinero. Are you a cook? Uh, I, mm. I am not a cook. Probably I not am. in the restaurant, but in the house. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> Tal vez en, no en un restaurante no nos toca, ¿verdad? Pero en la casa, yes, uh, I am a cook, right? I am a cook. <laughs> Exacto. Yeah. Everybody. Everybody, everybody is a cook, actually. Thank you. Thank you so much. Continue asking. If possible, try to give on relevant information just to complement. For example, are you a cook? No, I am not. I am a teacher. You include okay. extra info, right? Mm -hmm. Trate de incluir, si, si es posible, respuesta real acerca de lo que se les preguntó. Por ejemplo, are you okay. from San Salvador? No, I am not. I am from San Vicente, right? And you give extra info. Thank you. Okay. Thank Continue you. practicing. Good job, people. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bueno, okay. entonces. Ya no van a regresar. Hello. Hola. Perfect, perfect. I want to listen to you practice. Quiero escucharles cómo estamos formulando preguntas y ayudarles si es necesario. Yeah. <laughs> Are you from San Miguel? Mm -hmm. No, I am not from San Miguel. Mm -hmm. uh, are you from uh, La Unión? No, I am not from La Unión. I am from Santana. Excellent, are you, excellent. Are you an engineer? Hmm. Uh, no, I am not engineer. All right, thank you. Thank you so much. Just uh, the last feedback uh, on this one. You're doing great. Good job. Just, if possible, trying to include relevant information about you, similar to, to Sira, right? Tratamos, las respuestas las estamos haciendo bien. Las respuestas están correctas también. Nada más sugerirles para práctica que después de la negación, si fuera el caso, dar información relevante. Mi Sira creo que lo mencionó así, tal cual. Le preguntaron algo, ella dijo no, y después incluyó información relevante, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, ¿Are you a doctor? No, I am not. I am a teacher, ¿verdad? Respondemos negativamente a la pregunta y yo incluyo información relevante ya de mi ocupación, ¿verdad? O, o si es del lugar de donde yo soy. Are you from, son, uh, from Sonsonate? No, I am not. I am from San Miguel, right? And you continue giving more details, right? Try to change and, and also on the adjectives. En adjetivos pueden variar bastantes preguntas, ¿verdad? De personalidad. Are you serious? Are you happy? Are you angry? Right? And you have a lot of questions to, to talk on, right? Thank you. Good job. Continue practicing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. Yes. I am from San Salvador. I am not San Salvador. Microphone, Carolina. I am not from San Salvador. Excellent. <laughs> Are you teacher? Mm. I am not teacher. No, I am not teacher. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Appropriate answer, right? Thank you. Just a comment. Continue asking. You're doing a nice job. In this case, when the answer is negative, try to include the extra info. Lo estamos haciendo muy bien. Nada más sugerencia. Si la respuesta sería negativa, para seguir practicando, incluimos un elemento real 
de lo que se nos ha preguntado. Por ejemplo, are you a teacher? No, I am not. I am a student, right? Incluimos una información relevante ya real de nosotros. Si le preguntan, por ejemplo, are you from San Miguel? No, I am not. I am from San Salvador, ¿verdad? Hacemos la negación a lo que se me preguntó e incluye un dato extra real acerca de mí, right? Thank you. Continue practicing. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you. Are you... Are you tired? No, I am not. Indira, are you work in the... In the class? Repeat the question, please. Are you were in the in the restaurant? Uh, no, I no, I not. All right, thank you so much. Good job, people. I could listen to some of your practice. Just a short feedback on the question. Remember. Uh, we are, at this moment, we are not making combination of the verb to be with action verbs. En este caso, nada más eh, comentarles que no todo el, por el momento, ¿verdad? No estamos haciendo preguntas acerca de acciones, como tal cual la última pregunta que decía si trabaja ¿verdad? en algún lugar. Entonces, tal vez eh, podríamos variar porque no hemos llegado a los verbos de acción. Ya en las siguientes prácticas vamos a llegar por ahí y ahí sí vamos a hablar de rutina, ¿verdad? que si usted trabaja en tal lugar, que si usted estudia, eh, si usted escucha música, ya vamos a llegar más adelante. En este caso, el verbo to be, tal cual en los modelos, you can ask about the place, personal information, like the age, right? Puede preguntarle acerca de la edad también. Are you 15 years old? Right? ¿Tienes o, o tienes 15 años? Right? O eres de 15 años de edad, sería la traducción más literal, ¿verdad? Eres de 15 años de edad. And you say, yes, I am, or no, I am not, right? Personal information. Okay, thank you. Perfect. Continue working. Thank you so much. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Are you a liar? Perdón. Excuse me. Are you a lawyer? Are you a lawyer? Uh -huh. uh, no entendí esa palabra. ¿Qué significa? Lawyer, abogado. Uh, no. no, I am not a lawyer. I am a teacher. You are a teacher? Yes. Excellent. About what subject? ¿De qué materia? Um, the parvularia. Parvularia. Ah, interesting. Thank you. You are my colleague. Usted es mi colega, ya vi. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> Nice one, nice one, right? Continue asking, I want to listen to you. Erika, are you a nurse? No, I'm not a nurse. Mm -hmm. um, Esmeralda, are you happy? Yes, I am happy. Excellent, thank you. At this moment or all the time? And all the time. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you. Good job on the practice, ladies. We're going to return to the main room. Thank you so much for your time in the participation, in the breakout room. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Welcome, welcome everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your effort in the practice. It was really nice to visit the breakup rooms and to check that all of you wow. were practicing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Today I was missing to check on some of you. Ahora por cuestión de tiempo me hicieron falta algunos, pero chequeé a varios por ahí con información. And thank you, we're doing a good job. Lo estamos haciendo muy bien. Y eso espero que les llene de alegría. Es decir, hey, 
ya estoy expresando mis ideas en inglés. Ya ven, poco a poco vamos progresando. And that is nice. Eso es muy bueno. Que aunque sea a pasos cortos, a pasos grandes, pero progreso es progreso. Así que se siéntase contento que estamos llegando a nuestra meta de aprender un idioma inglés. Right? At this moment, I am going to check on, on attendance, please. So when you listen to your name, please make a verbal confirmation that you are still here with us, right? Confirmeme por acá si todavía está con nosotros en la videoconferencia. Alejandra Gabriela Pérez. Present. Thank you. Ana Guadalupe Fuentes. Present. Thank you. Azucena Enríquez de López. Present. Thank you. Brian Joel Morrodas. Present teacher and good Thank night, you. everyone. Good night. Thank you so much. Cindy Tatiana Vasquez. Cindy Tatiana Vasquez. All right. Thank you so much. I continue. Cira Berfale Aguilar. Present. Thank you so much. Uh, Claudia Elizabeth Martinez. Claudia Elizabeth Martinez. Lo ignoré this time. Erika Vanessa Marroquín. Thank you. Esmeralda Janet Méndez. Present teacher. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Evelyn Abigail Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you. Fátima del Carmen Amaya. Present. Thank you. Uh, Giselle Maria Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. Indira Nirvana Hernandez. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Ana Ivania Guevara. Present. Thank you. Jose Hernan Maravilla. Jose Hernan Maravilla. Probably not at this time. Josue Abraham Lopez. Present. Thank you so much. Carla Guadalupe Pacheco. Present. Thank you. Carla Lisset Mendez. Present. Thank you so much. Luis Daniel Rosa. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Madeline Beatriz Morán. Present. Thank you. María José Sandoval. María José Sandoval, probably not at this time. Mariana Dolores Moreno. Present, teacher. Thank you. Marlon Napoleón Fuentes. Present. Thank you. Rina Estela García. Present. Thank you so much. Rolando Guzmán Revelo. Present. Thank you. Ruth Stephanie Meléndez. Present. Thank you. Sandra Marisol Campos. Present. Thank you so much. Tito Alberto Hernández. Present. Thank you. Xiomara Alejandra Marroquín. Present. All right, people. I want to thank you for sí, your no punctuality. Me. Uh, Carolina, let me check. Sorry, 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 sí. sorry. Let me see. Carolina. Carolina Abigail Vázquez. Yes, sorry. Sí. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I probably confused. La letra a veces me salto líneas y le pido una disculpa. No es mi intención. All right. <laughs> thank you. I want to thank you for your punctuality and for the effort that you do every day. And let's continue working hard. Right. Les agradezco su puntualidad por el esfuerzo que hacen de estar acá. E igual el esfuerzo que yo sé que hacen en la plataforma. Y les animo a seguir dando siempre lo mejor de ustedes. All right. Have a good night, a good day tomorrow, and see Have you next day. See you next day. Bye. 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 Bye.